right, YouTube, let's get right to it. So this is around Halloween time, recent time, 2019. All right, so it was a time where me and, um, how many friends? Three friends, me and three friends went to this club that had an event that it was like a Halloween costume party night and that there would be a competition to like a costume party, a, a costume competition, right? And there's prizes for first, second, and third place. And there's different themes. So, um, I actually had to leave earlier that night because I had work early the next morning. Uh, but I heard the rest of the story from my friend Brad. I'm not going to say his real name to protect his identity. Um, and then uh, our my other two friends also stayed there with Brad Uh Let's call one of them Jesse, and let's call one of them uh, Amy. So this story is more so regarding Amy. So, <coughs> so Brad was dressed up as Michael Jackson because he really loves Michael Jackson, mu Michael Jackson's music, uh, and he knows how to do the moonwalk, which is pretty neat. But then. Uh, I forget what, uh, I forget, first of all, the name I gave for one of the girls, uh, and I forget what her costume was, but Amy's costume was like a goth kind of girl. It was like, uh, you, you know, uh, if, if you've ever seen Mean Girls, uh, and you remember like when Lizzie, Lindsay Lohan like went to that costume party, uh, and she overdid it for like a costume party, she didn't realize that you needed like make it like a hip kind of style. Uh, it was kind of like that, you know what I mean? Uh, she just didn't re fully realize like she, she, she like, I guess should have made it more, uh, more sexual appeal to it uh, for a costume party nowadays. Like I think, I, I like in my opinion I think it should be like regarding how neat the costume is and scary and this and that or whatever but uh for some stupid reason like that's what it is in this culture is like uh they want to see something sexy or something like that but anyways that that was a quasi disclaimer just so then people wouldn't get so triggered about this <laughs> but uh but it, it, it I, I actually do kind of feel that way you know what I mean it should be about how legit the costume is and how neat it is or whatever but uh, <clears throat> so getting into, um, the competition, Amy decided to join the competition. Uh, and like Amy, uh, I, I made, uh, some videos about like some stories, like I, I told some stories about her before on this channel and she, it, she can be like kind of slow and, uh, kind of weird um like there's uh, another story i have on my channel like talking about how she eats chicken bones like she literally uh like when eating chicken wings she not only eats like the chicken off of it but also the bones and swallows it so it's real 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 weird you know uh but so anyways getting into the story so the costume party started right not party uh competition and how you go about the competition is you like walk in a uh, kind of like straight line just to show off your costume and then like maybe do a little wave and and, and uh, a little dance or whatever and just like uh, show it off, you know. Uh, it was only girls that were um, doing the competition. Uh, and the other girls like first went and they were all like doing a little wave and they were like walking kind of slow, like, like a beauty pageant. You know what I mean? They were showing off their uh, like they, they from what I heard from my friend Brad, they were like pretty slutty costumes. They were they were like a, a slutty like a police woman costume and, and a cheerleader costume, it, like it, like stuff like that. Um, uh, and then Amy ended up going last and Amy was like just rushing in a straight line awkwardly uh and didn't do any wave or any dance or any little little thing you know what i mean any unique thing to make herself stand out um uh so that was that part uh then there were like other certain things that uh they had to do to like show off the costume or do this or do that or whatever and she was just like so slow and cringe about it and it's strange 
Um, and then they were announcing the prizes, right? They an- they were announce- announcing the three winners. So there's a best costume prize, and then there is um, I forget what one of the other ones was. I think it's like most unique or something like that. Um, and then the other one is worst costume prize, right? So Amy, uh, so so they were calling out the winners, like to like come up for your prize, right? Um, and so they were calling them up, and they had to like stand up, like they're all three together, right? So they called out the two girls, uh, and also Amy, who won a prize too. So Amy ended up winning the worst costume prize, and then <laughs> they all three like like. Well, the two girls got up there and stood up, but uh, Amy was, like, confused because she's, like, a nice ador- – she's a real nice and adorable girl, but she's, like, gullible and, like, can be kind of stupid and, uh, and and slow and whatever. So, like, she didn't, like, understand what was going on. Like, she thought her costume was, like, real good and, like, the best thing ever. Uh, and, like, um, these people, like, seem to be, like, kind of making fun of it. You know what I mean? Or uh, But it, in, like, more – they were doing it in a playful way, obviously, this competition, but still, though, like, uh, she seemed to feel quite awkward and, like, distraught about this situation, so she, um, and then on top of it, she can be kind of slow, so she wasn't realizing, like, she had to go up or what was going on or whatever, uh, so it was an all-around, like, poor girl, like, you know what I mean, like, poor girl situation, and, like, it, it was also kind of funny and entertaining hearing this story. Um, if you knew her, you, you would be able to like get a, uh, like a laugh out of it, but also like feel bad because she's like one of the nicest girls out there, you know? So that was that story. Uh, moral of the story. Um, I don't know, like just don't be judgmental, uh, or know that those kind of competitions are in good fun. Uh, and get your eyes on the prize, you know, that would be nice to get like a uh, free stuff, you know? Uh, I heard they were pretty neat prizes. I think, like, the first place thing was, like, a $100 gift card to something or somewhere. I don't know. But that was that. Thank you for listening. Like and subscribe. Listen to my other stories right now, please. All right. Bye-bye.